What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the Penny Arcade and how you can use it to your advantage. So let's get into it right now. So this is Zimwriter and I've been using this for quite a while for uh, creating great SEO content for your website or just uh, you know all sorts of different things. So this is the Penny Arcade and I use this to download Amazon links and you're able to do a lot with this. If we check out the uh, website here you can see that uh, what it does is you're able to create a whopping a thousand URLs to uh, sum them up or create an article for each one, basically a bulk rewriter. And so as you can see, it should cost you anywhere from two to 10 cents and all of these different uh, options you're able to do. If we look at the Penny Arcade, that's exactly what they said, enable literary devices, enable lists, tables, and so forth. So I typically will put in um, Amazon products here and it will create me a nice little outline and then I can uh, paste them on my blog. I have gone over the style mimic in another video. I will be coming doing a custom outline, custom prompts, and YouTube video description later and the link pack, which is a new release, which I'm very excited about and I'm doing a deep dive on this uh, with a one-click website creator, so you don't wanna miss that. And you should definitely join our community where we have all of our training in here. There's 52 of us now. We've grown quite a bit in just the last week, uh, but all the videos that I'm creating for Zimwriter are in the learning module here, and then all sorts, uh, sorts of different things like uh, animations, which I'll be going over in a little bit. So in the Penny Arcade, I'm going to actually do these three products. I'm gonna show you the results and how I automate the whole thing from finishing my actual article, the output, to automatically creating the markdown, doing it to my WordPress, and creating a Pinterest with five pins on each one. So I do have those three Amazon products here. And as you can see, I do have just the default settings, automatic, 10, voice is automatic. Um, I'll probably just do first person because it's me who's talking about the product. Uh, I'm not gonna add any of these. Uh, I usually do the search intent. So if they are looking for a review on these particular Amazon products, um, I usually do explore because you're out exploring, giving reviews. Uh, and then auto style, just leave everything the same. I will be doing a video, like I said, on all of these. I do already have the uh, style mimic, custom outline and custom prompts will be coming soon. Um, and I already have a one click video, uh, which I'll link somewhere above on how to automate the WordPress, which I just talked about, but let's go ahead and get this started. So as you can see, we have three articles here and it usually takes about three minutes to 30 minutes to uh, do that and it's going to output in my uh, Google Drive blog. So by doing that, it's going into my Google Drive here and it's gonna wait for a text file. Then the uh, make.com, and I have all these links in the description and uh, this whole file to download it or automate it, all you have to do is just import the file. Literally, I, I export it, I put it into my community and then you have that uh, already. And it's already in our community. I mean, you can just go to content at scale and then the one uh, one auto pin generator right here. And all you have to do is go into make.com. Uh, like I said, there's all these links in the description uh, and click create a new a scenario uh, and then import. So if you go to import blueprint, choose JSON, import that blueprint that I just sent you and you already have it. So pretty easy. All right, so the articles are already pretty much written. Now they're gonna be going through the automatic uh, WordPress and Pinner. So if you look at the bottom uh, window, that whole time, what, like two minutes or a minute, uh, it's already written three articles. And so now it's going to take those three articles and send it through here. Um, I don't really need a router here, I guess, but it's going to get those three articles, it's going to mark it down into HTML, and then it's going to put it through WordPress, send it to Airtable, and then make my Pinterest board. So let's do that right now. Let's uh, go ahead and 
So as you can see, it just finished writing. Um, so let's go ahead and choose where to start. It, it will automatically run every 15 minutes, but for the sake of time, let's just uh, run this. So we have, uh, let's go down to Nero Gum Caffeine. That's the first one. And so it's going to grab three, uh, which I actually should probably delete those uh, first. I could do six, um, but for the sake of time, let's just do, uh, let's just do six. Choose uh, settings. Six. Oh, I have two. So there you go. Um, we could have just done two. Choose where to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. And run once. So now it's downloaded the file. It's uh, got the markdown. It's going through the text processing. Uploaded it to WordPress. Now it's pushing it through the JSON, pushing it to Airtable. And now it's creating those images within the air table uh, and then it's going to go through all five so once it's already pushed it to air table which it has right there we should have an empty board here if we go to saved uh neuro gum empty board right here so uh, now it's getting all of the different uh, pins and images onto air table can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see. So as you can see, it's right here. This is the uh, link to the, the article. So the article should be live. Um, let's bring that up. There you go. I haven't uploaded a featured image, so that's something I'm gonna be adding. But this is the actual article from the Penny Arcade. And it's without images yet, but we'll be adding images in a later module, or you could automatically do it with the featured image that I have uh, earlier. So um, all those images are done. So now we're gonna go to Backpack. We're gonna go to um, this one. We'll go ahead and run this. And now it's taking those images and uploading it to the Pinterest. So we push those five times, two, three, four, and five. Pop over to Pinterest, let's refresh this page. And we should have the Nero Gum uh, right here. So Nero Gum Energy Boost Review. So here we go, we have five images that was created for our Pinterest. One, two, three, four and five. So pretty cool, Invir invigorating gum. And it seems like it already uh, did our second one. So let's run these five through. And so if we look at, and we'll refresh the page here, but we should have the article and the link to the article. So is this done? Yeah, it's done. So it's ran all, all five of them. So let's go ahead and check the new one. It should be, I believe this one. And so we have five more images. We have our Nero, how to Nero their mints right here. Pretty sweet. We have uh, some, uh, well, I like, check that out. It actually has the, the whole wording there too. So pretty sweet. And if we actually look at these and then go to the link here uh, and then go from there to my website, like I said, I haven't done the featured image, but this is, for instance, adding the review here, getting links to this. So now it's about adding an updated, uh, link here so that it goes back to say Amazon, which is right here. Uh, you definitely want to add your uh, affiliate code. So you can easily do that through Zimwriter, which I'll show you. So if you go to options and then go to Scraping Surgeon, you're gonna go ahead and go to Amazon for safe domains. 
and then actually put in your affiliate code. So for instance, mine's Brendan Duff 2020. Uh, yours might be, you know, uh, Zim Ranker 2019. I don't know what yours is. Just do yours and it will put that in the, uh, the tag at the top 